Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 mission. It's time for us to come together in Jesus' name, to listen to his holy word and encounter him in prayer. In the gospel today, we hear how two of Jesus' closest friends, James and John, come to him with a question. Let's just say it shows they've still got a lot to learn about what it means to follow Jesus. Jesus uses it as a chance to set them straight and help us understand how he wants us to live each and every day. It's time to begin. I invite you to ready your heart, be still, and listen closely to the words of Jesus in the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, approached Jesus. Master, they said to him, we want you to do us a favour. He said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? They said to him, Allow us to sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your glory. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus said to them. Can you drink the cup that I must drink or be baptised with the baptism with which I must be baptised? They replied, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I must drink, you shall drink. And with the baptism with which I must be baptised, you shall be baptised. But as for seats at my right hand or my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted. When the other ten heard this, they began to feel indignant with James and John. So Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that among the pagans, their so-called rulers lord it over them, and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to become great among you must be your servant, And anyone who wants to be first among you must be slave to all. For the Son of Man himself did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, What did you hear? Have you ever felt important or powerful? Did you like that feeling? Some of Jesus' disciples definitely did. James and John wanted an important place next to Jesus in heaven. They said to him, Allow us to sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your glory. This made the other disciples really annoyed. How could James or John ask that? Why did they think they were better than everyone else? Jesus calls them all together and he says something surprising. That if they want to be great, the only way is to serve others. He even uses the word servant and slave. That doesn't sound like being important or powerful at all, does it? A servant just does simple jobs, maybe cleaning a house, providing meals or washing. You don't become famous or have people cheering you on and saying how amazing you are for doing those things. But Jesus wants his disciples to understand that greatness isn't about how many people see or admire what you do, It's about how much love you put in. Serving others is always about placing the needs of others 
before our own. You can do this in simple ways each day, like helping someone who needs a hand or including a person who has been left out. This type of service won't win you a medal or make the news, but it is really precious and valuable to God. Saint Teresa of Calcutta once said, Not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. This is the type of greatness Jesus is talking about in the Gospel. Here's the amazing thing. Each time you choose to serve, you become more like Jesus. He said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. He is the greatest because he served in the greatest way by giving his life for others. When we serve, we grow closer to Jesus, opening our heart to his love. This will give us a greater joy, peace and happiness than any fame or powerful position ever can. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Close your eyes. Be still. Jesus is here. Jesus says, Anyone who wants to become great among you must become your servant. Jesus, help us learn how to serve. In this quiet space with Jesus, ask him to show you how you can serve today. Is there a person you can serve? Let Jesus bring them into your mind. Are there people in your life who serve you? You can thank Jesus for them and ask him to bless them. Jesus, even when we do things people don't notice, you see. Help us to be like you, Jesus, serving and loving others each day. Fill us with your love and help us understand in our hearts that true greatness is only found in loving and serving you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From heaven you came, helpless babe.
Your Mark 10 mission is one to do as a class. If you see someone else serving, helping another person, or putting someone else first, quietly go and mention it to your teacher. They can then make a quick note of what happened. At the end of the week, your teacher can choose and announce the greatest act of love and service done that week, and the person responsible can be celebrated. Thank you for being with us today, everyone. Jesus helped us understand that to follow him, we must always try to serve others. He laid down his life for us, and he asks us to lay down our lives for others in small ways every day. Next time we gather, we will be celebrating the great solemnity of all saints and the start of November, the month of the holy souls. That means this is our last chance to give one final encouragement to everyone taking on the Rosary Challenge. We have been blown away by the response and are thanking God for everything he has done through the challenge. We pray it's been a blessed experience for you. The awesome thing is that you can now add the Rosary to your prayer toolkit and go back to it whenever you want to draw close to Jesus and Our Lady. That's all we've got time for this week. We'll definitely be praying for you and looking forward to seeing you again next time on the Mark 10 mission. Bye everyone. Bye.